Okay, what I'd like to show here is um, this came out of a uh, it was a WineGuard HD8200 uh, antenna. That's for long range UHF and VHF. And then this is the combiner box that it uh, snaps into. I don't know if you can kind of see that yeah, there. You can see the uh, the two in the center are the U UHF, and the two in the outer actually connect the VHF of the antenna and then combine it. And then you just have the one output. And what I want in my application is I want to be able to have a separate connection for the UHF antenna and another one for the uh, VHF antenna. All right, I brought in a uh, this is a transformer, 75 ohm to 300 ohm. These are two wires. And what I'm going to do is solder these two wires onto this board here so that I can have the uh, two uh, outputs, one for the UHF and one for the uh, VHF. There. Is that in there? I'm going to take that out, that'll pop the board out, and then I'll show you uh, two capacitors that I just desolder and just move them off to the side. And then that's how I separate these two from each other. Alright, I have these two now uh, separated. I took the uh, this nut out of the uh, cartridge housing here. And then what you're going to see here, let's see if I can get you a little bit of a focus there. Yeah, and then I'm going to be removing C1 and C2, which will open up the UHF input. And then I'm going to, with the transform here, 75 ohm outdoor transformer, 300 ohm to 75 ohm, I'm going to cut these ends off here and solder them. Uh, one onto each of these points here. And then I'll also put another hole. You'll see one little hole there, but I'm going to put the hole on this side to let the two wires out. And then I'll have my two connections, one for UHF and one for VHF. Right there is a C1. Kind of see, I just kind of twisted the capacitor. Same thing with C2. So that opens these two inputs, which now are my higher frequency UHF and then on the back side there you can see where I soldered it. And the reason I did that is because it fits better in this uh, hole here and then I can just push this in. Alright and now you can see I pulled it through here on that and it's kind of back lined up. Now what I'm going to do here is I will put some strain relief with tie wraps on this cable so that it won't uh, break that solder connection when I install it. Alright, well that's my uh, way of splitting up the two antennas for two different amplifiers. And on the VH side I'm going to do a little more filtering, but I don't want to penalize my UHF channels uh, because of that. So, And thanks for watching.